Hey guys, good morning. It is 8.33. I am up and getting ready for the day. I knew it was time to get back into a routine somehow and today is the day because typically when I'm up, first off, I really slept. She woke up about 3 and then she slept until 7 which is nice because typically or at least the last like week or so, 5 days, she's been waking up between 2 and 3 and again at like 6, 5.45. So that's been a little more rough than 7 o'clock a lot more manageable <laughs> by the time I fed her and everything it was like almost 7 45 and she didn't really want to lay back down thank goodness and the rest was back by then he had taken all the girls to school he came back so i got to take a shower she still was crying i could hear her but at least i knew i wasn't her sole provider like when i was showering yesterday and the day before day yeah day before yesterday she was fine day before being knowing that i'm the only person here and she's crying there's no one there to get her um, is nerve-wracking but knowing that he was here with her and she was fine made my shower a lot more peaceful today so yeah I just got in took a quick shower washed my hair I am about to blow dry it with the Revlon I want always want to call this a three-in-one styler it's not a three-in-one styler though um, it is just a Revlon in style blow dryer I will link it down below if you're interested in it honestly if you are a regular blow dryer of your hair i cannot recommend this enough it doesn't work awesome when my hair is long that wasn't even the right sentence it doesn't work that as well when my hair is super long because i can't to wrap it and everything it's kind of like when you're blow drying super long hair with a round brush it just is a lot harder to manage when my hair is short it works so well i've never tried it with my hair this short because my hair has never been this short so we'll see but before when my hair was short i absolutely loved blow drying my hair so i'm really excited to have this and i'm hoping the whole process is super smooth i'm gonna see how long it takes me it's 8 35 now my hair is really wet though that's the only thing i may let it air dry and come back but i will let you guys know how long it ends up taking me with my hair this short and my hair this curly I mean you guys can see how curly it is and if I were to scrunch it it would be even curlier I feel like because right now I just brushed it out so my root is um, straight when it's no it normally has been curly since I got it cut so yeah I'm gonna do this get myself ready Everly the reason I'm in the girls bathroom is because Everly's in our room taking a nap and I don't want to disturb her. Never disturb a sleeping baby as long as they're okay. And she's fine right now. So on the dress is downstairs getting some breakfast ready. And we are going to have a productive day today. I'm exhausted. I can already feel it though because I didn't go to sleep last night. Like we were in bed. I waited for him to get home from work. I went upstairs and got in bed about 12. And... I don't think I fall I fell asleep until closer to two and she was up an hour later and then up again at seven so I'm working with about four and a half hours of sleep which is fine it's kind of what I've been running on but I'm used to going back to sleep in the morning so today I'm going to try and get back on a regular routine up early stay up get ready for the day and then um tonight go to bed at a decent time We'll see, especially because Andres goes to work earlier tomorrow. Fingers crossed. So, let me do my hair. I'll let you guys know how long it takes. All done. Start to finish. 26 minutes. And 10 seconds. 7 seconds. Whatever. A lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Honestly, I thought I would get it done in under 20. But my hair was pretty wet. So, I think next time I do it, I will let it air dry a little bit more like my roots were wet so I had to work a little harder at them like the second I blow dried them they would get a little frizzy I did use the Tresemme heat tame leave-in heat protectant and then I sprayed this on top the Kenra platinum blow dry spray I love this stuff it's supposed to help it has heat protectant but it helps cut your blow dry time down I don't feel like it worked that well for me today I feel like it did help me get a little bit sleeker of a finish um, and I love the body that I get from this and my curls can go either way like if I brush them 
they can flip out if I brush them in they can flip in so I do like that and I always blow dry to the opposite side and then flip my hair so that I can have that added body up here one thing I did notice with all of the sectioning of my hair to make sure it was all dry like internally I have a lot more gray hairs than I thought I did <laughs> in fact I told the girl that was cutting my hair I was like yeah I really wanted to go dark for the winter this year but then I ended up pregnant and I didn't end up dyeing it and I said then I wanted to get like a balayage and it's super expensive and I don't feel like sitting at the out at the salon for six hours and she's like you really don't have a lot of gray hairs I'm like Ugh. combing through it are you serious I see like four sitting on top right here I have some in my um like a sideburn area is not a ton just a couple but almost in every section when I was sectioning everything off there was at least one gray hair so what having four kids and being 33 gets you gray doesn't necessarily run in my family funny enough my grandma is going to be 80 this year and she barely has any gray hair I feel like her mom my great-grandma was completely white by the time she were 80 I don't know I could be wrong I, I remember growing up she was always gray like gray and white and right before she passed away she was in her 90s though but right before she passed away she was like super white all completely white so somewhere down the line you know gray runs in the family but my grandma barely has any gray hairs my mom and Nin, sorry Nin, they have more gray in fact Nin's kind of em embraced the gray lately and got like a mix of gray and blonde highlights the last few times she's been at the salon um so i know gray is in my future and unfortunately since i have dark hair they show up a lot more in dark hair but i was just like dang man she lied lies she said you don't have that many i mean i guess compared to some clients that she has um maybe I don't have that many but I don't know I'm like every single section there's at least a dozen if not like two dozen around my head so anyway that's my hair with the blow dryer I'll link it down below I really love that thing and it's like I want to say under 50 maybe even 39.99 I know you can get on Amazon I know Target sometimes has a special on it I think Walmart sells it I just really love it the one complaint that I have two complaints the cord is not nearly long enough if I wanted to like especially when I'm doing the opposite side of where I have it plugged in it's not long enough but it's manageable and the second is it gets pretty hot so if you don't have thick coarse hair you may want to use the low setting my hair is too thick and too curly to use the low setting so I do have to be careful not to burn my scalp or my ear or anything like that if the air touches it because it does get pretty hot so anyway there's my hair now I'm gonna go downstairs have some breakfast and feed Everly and head out I totally forgot to bring a battery so at some point today it's going to die but for right now I thought I would share with you my coffee that I've been drinking the camera's gonna go flying be careful I'm not buckled but <laughs> um it's a double shot of espresso in a venti cup over ice and I just dump in my premier caramel protein voila and it is so freaking good only two Weight Watcher Smart Points and so delicious so I'm gonna have this as kind of like a mid-morning snack found our way to Costco and already have a full cart look at this <laughs> it has some bulky stuff like we have paper towels and stuff how many points are they but we're going through getting points on everything which is taking a little while also shout out to my friend Norma for the Hello Kitty earrings. I work with her at H&R Block. Aren't these so freaking cute? I love them. Oh my golly, $550 later. Okay, we came home because, what's going on here? We came home because first off, we have this much Costco stuff to put away and it just didn't make any sense to leave it all in the car. Second, it was time for Everly to eat and it just was, it's so much easier for me to feed her here, so. That's what I did. Now she is having some bottle and I am about to organize this stuff and then put it all away and we're gonna head back out. Actually, we'll probably grab some lunch while we're here and then head back out for more errands. Yay. Okay, just got all the groceries put away. Everly's trying to soothe herself over there in the, well, she's trying to put herself to sleep in the bassinet. Um, I'm trying to see if she'll take a nap before we can head out. 
again. Uh, I got my built bars in. This time I ordered the variety pack. I'm definitely going to get another pack of peanut butter, but I ordered the mint brownie delight, the black cherry, and banana. I haven't tried any of these flavors, so I'm excited. My poor little girl. Okay, we're home. Everly's fed. <laughs> it was a long afternoon. Uh, Costco took up most of our day, but I wanted to share with you guys. I don't know if I shared the chicken fajitas we had the other night. This is the same thing. Andres made it this time, though. Uh, it's just the sweet mini peppers, some cut up chicken breast, and these are the Mission Low Carb Tortillas. They're, they are one point each. The chicken is, I actually need to scan it in um, or check it because this is five ounce. Five ounces, the peppers are free, and we just, he cooked it in the spray. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's going to be very much. I'm thinking maybe around five or six points for the whole meal. And then I'm going to top it with some of the Bold House Farm cilantro avocado. And this is one point for two tablespoons, I think. So yes, I'm very excited, and I'm super tired. I can't wait for bed. Someone got some new earrings. Well, they're not new. She has has had them uh, my shoe yeah but we never put them in and someone's missing or about to miss another tooth she won't let us pull it it's gonna hang on for dear life huh mm -hmm. wanna say good night to you tomorrow good night to you tomorrow you wanna wear dinosaur jammy let's wear dinosaur jammy <laughs> let me have your spelling list so I can do it while I'm doing this please you want to wear dinosaur jammy? Oh, yeah. So, Mommy, want me to do that for you? No, I got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Turn the other way. So, you if don't I, see them in cheat. If I get them right. Oh, can you grab me her owl, owlette, please? Mamacita. Donde esta Santa Claus? Mamacita. Thank you. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Opportunity. Yes, Apollo. Accordance. Precariously. No. Precariously. Good. Proportionate. T-I, T-I what? T-I-O-N-A-T-E. You had all of it except that. Let's try it again. Proportionate.
Yes. Suffused. Accelerates. No. Accelerates. It's okay. We're almost done. Okay, spell it again. Yes. Coincidence. C O I N. This onesie bear, you fit you, Mama. I am done for the night. It's 11 p.m. I'm gonna go lay down. I edited the vlog early and I'm so tired. I should have been in bed like two hours ago. But I edited it early and I was waiting for it to export while we put all the other girls down um, to sleep. Tomorrow is weigh-in day. I'm so excited. I'm going to try really hard to do an update tomorrow because I, I never even did an intro to doing Weight Watchers on my other channels. So I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I may just keep you guys updated here and do videos here and there of like my favorite Weight Watcher foods and just different things like that. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, I really took a little while to go down tonight. So I'm. it can go one of two ways. It'll either be a rough night or she'll sleep a little longer because it took her a little longer to go down. And I'm hoping one cycle in the room doesn't wake her up. We'll see. I spent my evening pumping. That's like one thing that I got good advice on Instagram about trying to increase supply and everything. And one thing I hadn't been doing as much of was pumping. And so I'm trying to get back into that routine. But it's just, again, like I have to prepare myself mentally for the exhaustion because it takes such a long time for the entire process so anyway that's what I was doing after we put her down to go to sleep and I'm hoping I can get a little bit of sleep before the morning time we'll see I have a few errands to run tomorrow I really want to go get my eyebrows done before they get too too out of control like look at that <laughs> I didn't I haven't got them done in six weeks which happy six weeks to Everly <laughs> I can't believe it's been six weeks already that's just insane to me so crazy time flies man time flies and what's so weird is like my pregnancy felt so long and I can't even believe she's six weeks already and I don't even remember what it's like without her it's crazy how your mind does those things so anyway, I have a few errands I want to run tomorrow. First thing in the morning after everyone goes to school and we get up and ready, uh, I'm going to go away. And then, so I'm hoping to like make breakfast here, take it with me, weigh and eat breakfast. And I weigh at my mom's office. And then I want to go to H-E-B for groceries. I really wanted Andres with me for Costco because I knew that would be way too difficult. I don't need a ton from H-E-B, but I do need some stuff. A lot of fresh fruits and vegetables mostly because some of the stuff was too expensive at Costco. And there are a few other things that I need that I don't need in like a ginormous package. So... I'm gonna get that stuff from H-E-B and there was one more place I needed to go. I can't remember, I'll look through my stuff and figure it out. Oh, Walmart I think, I need a couple frames and the girls need um, project stuff. They have a project due, both of them, next Friday and so I wanna try and get ahead of the game and buy their project stuff ahead of time. So I need to go to Walmart so I'll probably Go away, have breakfast, go to Walmart, get that stuff, and then go to H-E-B, get that stuff, and hopefully make it home in time <laughs> to feed her at home. That would be really great. So we'll see how the morning goes. And the dress works all day tomorrow. 
we don't have any plans at night and then friday um him and i have a few errands to run in the morning and then i think my mom is picking up all the girls for me and her and nin are friday is nin's birthday and so her and nin are going to come over for dinner or i think that's what my mom said i actually need to talk to her again i think that's what she said they were going to come over for dinner so i have to figure out what to make for dinner that's weight watchers appropriate and then saturday i don't think we're doing anything oh yeah the girls have i fly for girl scouts on saturday so that should be fun so anyway um yeah i have an assignment due on friday that i need to stay on top of which i also did my test thank goodness the google hub thing is awesome because i'm getting used to telling it hey google remind me xyz and it reminds me it's so great like what did we do with ourselves before technology on it like post-its on the wall i feel like is what we did to hopefully help us remind <laughs> remind us to do whatever we needed to do i'm rambling it's late i need to go to bed hopefully i get some sleep i'll let you guys know in the morning i hope you enjoyed today's vlog and we'll see you tomorrow bye